Okay. Good morning, class. Uh, once again, we will uh, meet and uh, we will be discussing about the introduction of plant breeding. So essentially, plant breeding is important in food production nowadays. So you are enrolled in the subject, Agric 105, Introduction to Plant Breeding and Plant Propagation. So again, the mode of discussion that we will be tackling is through, uh, I will be sending messenger, Facebook groups, and we will be uploading a video lecture about this chapter, all of this chapter in YouTube. Okay, so plant breeding or simply hybridization as they mentioned is compared with what we call intermarriage. So intermarriage is uh, marrying of uh, male and female from different races or different tribes. Uh, but for plant breeding, well, we are obtaining the uh, good traits, good hereditary traits or characters of a plant that must be inherited by a certain variety or a breed. Okay, so intermarriage is compared to hybridization on how uh, offspring or the first filial generation of a certain uh, couple or a certain parents will look. No? So, meron yung tinatawag tayong uh, intermarriage sa tao kung saan uh, magkakaroon ng variation ang kanilang magiging offspring depending to the contribution of the parents no? so 50 50 so 50 percent trait from the mother 50 percent trait from the father so same true in plant breeding or hybridization 50 percent trait from the donor parent or donor plant and then 50 percent from the recipient plant so in plant breeding, searching for the best trait of a parent plant is the most tedious part in plant breeding. No? So for example, we want uh, tall corn. So tall traits or ang pagkatangkad is more dominant than the short one. No? So tall plants or uh, to, tall people or tall plants are more dominant than the shorter ones. So yun yung parang trait na gustong i, uh, ipasa dito sa pic, uh, according to this picture no so the character traits of being tall uh, were to be obtained from a donor parent no so kapag mas matangkad ang mais they expect that it has it has more nodes and it has more ears no to be produced okay so the certain genes will be obtained from the donor parent and it will be uh, carried through the first filial generation or the offspring. So plant breeding is an art and science of improving the hereditary makeup of the plant. So we are obtaining a certain gene which uh, make the character trait of a certain species like for example we want resistant genes no so we want that to be obtained and to be passed through to the next generations of the crop okay and this plant breeding or hybridization is uh, we aimed to improve productivity and its usefulness to mankind like for example, the suitability of the offspring or to produce desirable recombinants, ang gusto natin ay yung mga magagandang traits. And most good traits are dominants. So the scope of plant breeding. So the hereditary and environment interact to determine plant characteristics because the genes interact with the environment will determine the characteristics of the offspring or the plant no? like for example if the uh, if the crop doesn't thrive in hot condition 
will it it will not grow or it will not perform okay so genes and the environment will go together and it must be considered so the plant breeder seeks to improve the hereditary component like for example we want to obtain a certain traits that will suit a certain crop in a hot condition like for example potatoes is not suitable for hot temperature or hot climate so ano kaya ang trait na pwedeng i carry doon sa offspring para makatolerate ng hot temperature so yon this is a product of uh, genetics no? so arbitrarily plant breeding involves 90 to 95 percent collection of planting materials or parent materials no? so in that 90 to 95 collection you were to collect all the best possible source of your parent plants no from that 90 to 95 percent activity in plant breeding it involves it involves here the collection of uh, varieties or collection of entries from different uh, parts of the region no? from different uh, companies okay from different institution no like for example you want to breed a new variety of rice so anong gusto mong i-breed heirloom rice ba or high or you want an uh, an inbreed no okay so kokoha ka ng entry mo sa for example you will you were to obtain rice seeds from mountain province okay kokoha ka sa kagayan no hindi lang iisa ang pagkukunan mo ng iyong source of your parent materials no okay and then from uh if you think you collected all the best possible entries then you were to select okay select no so 5 to 10 percent selection anong ibig sabihin ng 5 to 10 percent selection in the activity of plant breeding you were to select the best parents or best entries from your field trial so syempre yung mga kinolekta mong mga seeds if you failed trial mo sa inyong lugar, kung gusto mong uh, mag-develop ng certain variety, in order for you to assess what among uh, what among the interest thrives best and suited for that condition. Okay? Hindi basta-basta kumuha ka lang ng seeds in a certain area or in a certain company at ibibreed mo na agad. Hindi po. Okay. So you need to conduct a field trial in order for you to assess and to evaluate the best entries that is suited for a particular environment. Okay. For layman's definition or for an ordinary person, it's simply defined that uh, plant breeding is an activity of developing improved variety of plants. Like for example, uh, most of the traditional rice are uh, low yielding. No? So, anong gusto natin improve sa traditional rice? Okay. Mas gusto natin ng mas maraming tailors or mas gusto natin yung mas maraming bunga. No? So, it also an art in science of crop improvement since we want to improve the hereditary makeup of the plant anong mga hereditary makeup or hereditary characteristics na gusto nating i-implant in a certain variety so first of course we want a yielding second we want resistant to pest third we want a tolerate to harsh environment condition and among other morphological characteristics okay next it is an art of crop improvement because it involves certain skills in techniques 
So, in plant breeding, a certain breeder must be skillful in handling the tweezer. Okay, as you can see in the uh, pictures, there are hands that hold tweezer. And the technique in handling a certain flower or the parts of the crop or the flower of the crop. No? So, you tend to have a skill in handling the tweezer in emasculating the plants. No? Ang ibig kong sabihin na emasculating, emasculation is the exposure of the stigma in the removal of uh, the petals in order for you to expose the st stigma ready for pollination. No? And I, uh, you must be a keen observer by using your eyes. No? So you need to have a uh, good uh, handling. Okay, You need to have tender loving care and you need to have love for flowers are skills and techniques needed in hybridization. Okay, if crop improvement is just synonymous to plant breeding but it is devoted to selection. As I mentioned earlier, if you collected 10 entries, nakakulik ka ng sampung entry to be the donor parent of a certain variety. Okay. From that 10, you need to select the best entry through field trial or you were to conduct varietal evaluation. So, itatanim mo Oh, pag, uh, pagkukumparahan mo yung sampung variety, ah, ito yung pinaka the best based on yield. Okay, so you are to gather, for example, rice variety 1 to, one to 10. Oh, gusto mong kunin ang trait na high yielding, then you are to compare the yield or the harvest. Oh, kung anong pinakamataas, then yun yung gagamitin mo as a donor parent. Okay. Pero kung gusto mo naman ng resistant, no, from that, uh, for example, you have collected 10, no, ano sa, ano sa uh, mga entry, from the 10 entry, ano yung pinaka-resistant to pest and diseases yung hindi nakaptan ng sakit. No? So, selection of plant that possess better advantage over the others were once propagated in the next cycle, production. Yun. Okay. So, yung itinanim mo ngayon na pagbabalsihan mo yung sampung entry, uh, it's not only limited to 10. Collect, as I mentioned, collect and collect and select. No? So, you are to collect all possible entries that you think uh, it could thrive, but from that entry, you are to select the best. No? So, kung may napili ka na, basing from the parameters or characteristics you want to acquire, then yun na yung paparamihin mo for the next production cycle. Thus, crop improvement and proper selection of an entry is a key in plant breeding. No? Hindi, uh, as I gave an example, hindi basta kumuha ka lang ng seed o oh, ito na, I will uh, breed it to this uh, certain seed. Hindi. You need to tra uh, conduct trial first. Field trial. Okay. So, if you wish to become a plant breeder because plant breeder is one agricultural skill that is highly paid. It is highly paid skill and plant breeder are uh, has high salary in seed companies. So, siyempre, sino pa bang nag-hire ng mga plant breeder kundi ang mga seed companies? Kasi sila nga ang nag-produce ng seeds. There are a lot of seed companies here in the Philippines or kahit distributor ng seeds. We have Condor, Canico, Swiss Seeds, uh, Harvest, Planters. Ang dami. There are a lot of, or pioneer, maraming seed company dito sa atin. So, sila ang nangangailangan ng plant breeder. 
but as an agriculturist if you want to become a plant breeder then you must consist the following traits number one you need to know the plants no you need to know the structure of the flower of the plant like for example beans oh magbe breed kayo ng beans do you know the structure of the flower of the beans no it has the kill so tagong tago ang stigma no na siyang i-expose natin ready for uh, breeding okay Kin ability to observe differences so you need to have a good eyesight in dealing and in uh, seeing the difference of each characteristics of the plant's flower no? next imagination to visualize the plants which are needed of course you need to have a vast imagination no on how uh, on what particular variety you want to develop no you could picture as you breed oh, what uh, plant I want to see after breeding this uh, local variety para maging hybrid. No? Okay. Fourth, for sign to predict how will people react to his new variety sometimes in the future. As we discussed a while ago that food sustainability is one aim of breeding. Okay. Hindi lang basta-basta mag breed or ilipat mo yung pollen into another uh, variety then that's all hindi you need to have an objective of sustaining the characteristics of yielding and a resistant because yun po yung aim ng plant breeding nowadays it aims for food sustainability okay you need also to love flowers as i mentioned earlier you need to determine you need to visualize you need to examine the different parts of the flower of each crop. Kasi iba-iba po ang structure ng flowers ng bawat tanim. Okay? And lastly, you need to have tender loving care in holding plant breeding kits. Like for example, the handling of tweezers. Kung magalaw ang kamay mo, then marami ka ng nasasayang na flower. Kasi nasira na ang bulaklak. Okay, so you need to remove uh, properly the pollen grains, the male parts of the flower, ang matitira lang ay yung female ready for hybridization in the future. For biological definition of plant breeding, it is a science of crop improvement that includes the methodologies and fundamental laws of biology. Why? What includes here the laws of biology, for example, genetics. Oh. Because you need to determine, uh, because genes is the basic unit of hereditary, of, uh, or it's the basic unit of uh, inheritance for a certain species. Because meron yung tinatawag tayong multi-genes, like for the uh, high yielding, yung gusto nating mataas na yield, marami pong genes ang nakakontrol nun. No? And genes and chromosomes are the basic units of which improvement depends. No? Uh, but for traditional breeding, as we go on with the slide, it is difficult for us to assess if we only obtain the specific gene for a certain trait. And then the effects of variability are equally strong in to maximize hereditary effects in the selection. That's why uh, during the uh, varietal trial, oh, you need also to assess the other traits. Like for example, uh, okay, sige, I will give first an example for human. Oh. Matangkad yung nanay or matangkad yung tatay uh, or vice versa. Siyempre alam natin na that uh, tall is dominant, no? Oh. Ang anak tangkad nga pero 
dark skinned oh eh ang nanay maputi ang tatay maitim no? so black is dominant than white so it's dark skinned okay so yun yung hindi natin makontrol kasi meron yung tinatawag tayong variability of equal in strong hereditary effects in selection okay ang gust ang magandang trait na ipamana pero may ibang na ipamanang trait na undesirable like for example oo nga high yielding ang naging anak ang naging offspring ang naging first filial generation or F1 pero sensitive naman sa mga diseases it is susceptible to disease okay so naman niya ang pagiging high yielding pero may iba siyang naman ng traits for traditional breeding as we go on with the slide no okay statistical tools have been developed to analyze effectively the outcome of crossing of different individuals okay so uh, this is an in-depth study of plant breeding because we have here a calculation unit using the Punnett square and using the Mendelian law on how we were to compute the possible percentage or possible chances of the outcome of the recombinants or the offspring and then plant breeding has become more precise and successful due to alliance of other fields like pathology entomology physiology biochemistry and most importantly molecular biology okay so molecular biology this is now the what we call the modern breeding method or as it needs to assess and extract only the gene under uh under pcr so polymerase chain reaction for them to see what part of that certain gene or of that certain uh, cell no? na silang na yon ang i-extract lang nila no? using uh, molecular biology which we call nowadays as biotechnology it is a precise no a precise and it is uh, the an expensive way of breeding okay okay so we have here the methods of breeding we have the traditional which is uh, the most commonly used until these days so in the traditional methods of breeding, you have there the strand of uh, uh, DNA from the donor parent, no? And we have there the strand of DNA from the recipient parent. Now, we were to breed them using an artificial pollination, okay. Then the new strand of, or the new recombinants or the offspring has contained now 50% genes from the parent plant of a mother and a father no? so you have the, the donor parent the recipient parent ang naging offspring 50 percent from the father 50 percent from the mother no? yung father is the donor parent yung mother is the recipient variety okay para hindi tayo malito so 50 50 po ang sharing ng genes whereas as I mentioned, that the desired gene what could be extracted, but other genes or other portion of genes or DNA strand of an organism was carried through the offspring, which could be undesirable trait. Oo nga na ipamana ang desirable genes, pero ang may ibang genes na na ihalo okay it's uh yon and then for genetic engineering it's only the gene of interest was extracted through a biotechnology process and it was inserted art inserted uh artificially into the strand of 
the recipient variety. No? So, kinakailangan po dito ang gene mapping. Okay? Kinakailangan ng gene mapping. Kinakailangan pang i-PCR test ang gene ng donor parent in order for them to extract the exact or the precise gene that will be inserted into the recipient variety. And most of genetic engineered plants are produced nowadays. Like for example, our, our corn that is a genetic engineered plant or the GMOs are the product of genetic or modern plant breeding. Genetic engineering or modern plant breeding. Okay, so here are the following steps of plant breeding. Okay, so we have here the following major activities. Like for example, the first step in the most important step of plant breeding is the collection of possible variations or possible parents. As you can see in the picture, ayun, ang dami nilang nakolek na variations na source ng kanilang parent plant. Hindi lang isa, hindi lang dadalawa. Ang dami. No? In their extent, kung ilan ang kaya nilang makuha. And then, the next step is selection. <coughs> so, under selection, you need to conduct a field trial and select the best entry. Okay? And then, Next step is the evaluation of entries. No? So, uh, during the evaluation process, of course, you need to plant or you need to cultivate your recipient and your donor parent. After evaluation, are they compatible? No? Kung compatible, then you are to release the result of the breeding uh, process no oh na carry ba ang trait na gusto mo no kung na carry well will be in good you are to multiply it and now ready for the distribution of the new variety but if it fails to depict the desirable trait that you want to obtain then that ends po, okay? So, hindi na magpo-proceed sa multipl multiplication kasi nga hindi na uh, hindi na depict ang gusto mong trait na makuha. Okay? So, most especially in traditional breeding, traditional breeding is a trial and error method of breeding. Kaya huwag niyong sisihin ang mga seed companies kung bakit ang mahal-mahal ng kanilang seeds Iilad lang ang seeds ang nakalagay sa pakete. It's because nagkandak po iyan ng failed trial. Trial and error po ang ginawa nila dyan. No? Hanggang sa nakuha nila na perfect nila ang trait ng seeds. Okay? Before they will uh, distribute it for commercialization. Okay. So again, kapag na-evaluate, payit ang trait, ayon. It will again repeat the process. Okay. So here are just some history of plant breeding. So we have here Gregor Mendel is the father of genetics. So he is an Austrian monk or a holy person and accidentally developed the recessive and dominant traits on his plant of garden pea. Nagtanim siya ng garden pea in the backyard of the uh, church, okay, or in the, uh, uh, what do we call that again? Basta in that part of the church, in that garden of the church, no? where he was assigned. Oh. Anong nakita niya sa garden P? Kasi kapag wala si Gregor Mendel, abay hindi na po na-develop ngayon ang PCR. Abay, wala pong mga bagong variety ngayon pag wala yung discovery ni Gregor Mendel. So, from the theory of Gregor Mendel, 
kasi isa siyang pare o pare pa siya <laughs> uh, nakita niya ang different colors of the flowers of the garden pea okay so noong nakikita ni Gregor Mendel ang bulaklak ng tinanim niyang sweet peas bakit may violet at bakit may white So, so he is not aware why there are white flowers. Why are there are violet flowers of the garden pea? Ayon. And second, na na discover niya ay yung shape ng seeds. So nakita niya na bakit ang ibang seeds ay round pero ang iba naman ay wrinkled. So it comes into his mind. Ano kaya ang nangyayari sa tanim? Bakit iisang uh, plant, magkakaibang kulay ng flower, magkakaiba pa ang shape ng seeds? Okay, so that gives him an idea to discover the law of dominance and recessive. So doon po uh, na-discover niya yon ayon. After discovering the colors in the shape of the seeds, hindi lang nag-stop down. No? So, binilang niya. No? Oh. Bakit mas maraming round-shaped seeds ng garden pea kaysa sa wrinkled? Bakit mas maraming white colors kaysa sa violet flowers ng garden pea? Okay? So, yun. Uh, as we go in depth with the next modules, uh, it discuss natin doon ang law of dominance in recessiveness at ang magiging percentage ng possible offspring through basic calculation and computation using the Punnett square method in the discovery in the theory of Gregor Mendel. So Gregor Mendel is now the father of genetics. So here are just some history of plant breeding. So artificial pollination was uh, discovered by the Assyrians and Babylonians as early as 700 before Christ era in the Middle East. No? So Babylonians are the first inhabitants of the Middle East. No? Alam na natin yan that they develop artificial pollination of the date palm. So, yung artificial pollination is a human intervention of transferring pollen into another plant in order for you to have a new recombinance or new offspring. Yun ang ibig sabihin ng artificial pollination. Okay. Development of the first artificial hybrid plant by Thomas Fairchild, Hawk Frost Sweet Carnation. Si Thomas Fairchild naman ay carnation ang kaniyang discovery bakit may variant ng puti bakit may red at bakit may interaction or may alteration of red and white carnation so yun naman ang kaniyang discovery for systematic studies of artificial plant hybridization by collaborator in germany okay and then using of progeny test for selection was used by Sheriff in the 1819, which now, a days, it was used in a crime laboratory like DNA test. Okay. Dito na po uh, umusbong sa ngayon yung theory ni Sheriff sa progeny test, ang um, paternity test, DNA test, etc. Which are now useful in uh, uh, criminal logistics and also in uh, science and med medical as well. Okay. The establishment of the origin of species was based on the existence of natural selection by Charles Darwin in 1851 as he published his book of Origin of Species. Si Charles Darwin naman, he mentioned that all species has its own origin. Okay, like for example, Actually, hindi lang sa human ang pinablish ni Charles Darwin. Na yung tao ay galing sa ongoy. No? Kung na-improve lang daw ang ating hereditary because of 
some factors no igaling daw tayo sa ungoy but in uh, kapag i-gene map mo ang human at ang orangutan 98% magkapareho kayo ng chromosomes no no yun yung uh, which was stated by uh, Charles Darwin okay four plants okay four plants naman uh, for example ano kaya ang origin ng cabbage or ng uh, ombok or cauliflower broccoli so galing siya sa iisang tanim daw no? from Italy from Europe and then through the divergence evolution ayun naging different species na so nung na-publish na ni Charles Darwin ang origin of species din doon na nag-start to extend the nomenclature or binomial system of naming of different species no? hanggang kingdom until the species and subspecies Okay, so through the Mendel's experiment in 1900s, the brace of Holland or Netherlands in Corinth of Germany and Chermark from Austria formulated the principal factors of segregation, recombinance, dominance of laws of inheritance. Uh, it is discussed natin, uh, this is higher form of agriculture in the next chapters or modules that uh, we prepared. Yung law of segregation, no? on how to, uh, yung segregation is yung uh, allotment or yung distribution of traits to the recombinant. No? Parang babalikan mo, paano na ipamana ang isang trait sa bata? Saan yan nakuha? No? Okay, and before we end the lecture, of course, reminding you again your quiz and your activity which was uploaded in YouTube, in our Facebook group, and in the uh, Messenger. No? So, before I end, I just want to share this quote to you. So, agriculture is the most helpful and most useful and most noble employment of man. That is according to George Washington, uh, the first president of the United States. And then if you ate today, then you need to thank a farmer. So that ends our first module. Hope uh, our discussion could facilitate you in answering the questions given in your quiz. So if you have a question, then just message me personally for, you, for us to elaborate more the topics you want to learn. Have a nice day ahead.